Let's talk about sex, intimacy, relationships, shame and guilt. Let's talk about all the things. Do you know you can have a better sex life? Do you know you can have a better relationship? Do you know you can have better communication, better conflict, more connection? I didn't know any of these things. And I was married for 20 years before I knew this. My mission is to help people find out about all these things, educate ourselves, and take away the shame and guilt about talking about all the things. Let me take you back a little bit. I was married for 20 years, and my husband and I were Lisa and Nigel. We were that couple. We were very in love. We had three beautiful children. We had the house. We ran a business together. We were that couple, that annoying couple. You know those ones? So then a situation happened in our business together. And it was just a situation that came up. It was just a big change that had to happen. And my way of dealing with it was tick the boxes, get it done, let's move on with life. My husband didn't agree. He had a different way of thinking about doing it and he didn't think it was fair what was happening. So we had a different way of going about it. We discussed it and then we discussed it and then we discussed it some more and then we argued about it and then we disagreed about it and then it turned into everything. It was impermeating every part of our lives. Our children started to say, are you two still talking about that? I believe it was Einstein that said, repeating the same pattern over and over again and expecting a different outcome is madness. And let me tell you, we were on the way to madness. So eventually I said, what about we go see somebody about this? Now I'd been to counseling myself after my mom had passed and it helped me so much. Um, I'm just gonna say, he wasn't that keen. He wasn't that keen. There was a whole lot of shame and guilt for me, for him, there was nothing wrong with our marriage, he said. There's nothing wrong with our marriage. I said, sweetheart, there's nothing wrong with our marriage, but there's a big chunk here that we are stuck and we can't get past. And we need some tips and tools to get past this. So let's just say we got there in the end and we went three times. She told us about conflict resolution. She told us about how to be committed better communicators. She told us about love languages. She told us about sex and guilt and shame and how we are hardwired from childhood to have guilt about sex and how we need to get past that, how we need to get past our limiting beliefs. Well, I was fascinated. Fascinated wouldn't even start to explain it to you how I was. I was like a dog with a bone. How did we not know this stuff? Why does no one tell us this stuff? Why do we not educate ourselves about these things? Nigel, on the other hand, was like, that's great. That's good information. Let's put that to work in our relationship. And we did. And it took our already great relationship to a whole different level. And I will be forever grateful for that. But I was like a dog with a bone. Down a rabbit hole, here I was. So I educated myself. I did courses, I read books, I listened to podcasts. And when your teenage children get into the car and you're listening to podcasts about sex, that's a tricky one, but it's lots of fun, it's lots of fun. Um, read everything, listened to everything, educated myself. Then of course, you know what happens? Why does everyone not know? I need to tell everyone. Why does this, why do people not know? Why do people not know? So I started running little classes. I ran some classes in our work, and then I ran some classes in our local area. And I was living my best life. I was helping the people. I was filling my own cup. I just was living my best life. And then I don't need to tell you what happened. March 2020, March 2020 happened, and my little idea was dead in the water, not gonna be. Absolutely, there was nothing I could do. So someone suggested, why don't you take it virtually? As we all had to adapt in, the, in 2020, so I did. I took it virtually, I took it virtually, and I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna be talking about all the things, getting past shame and guilt, and if anybody's out there and wants to listen, they can. Well, within about four to six weeks, it really started to take legs. And I was loving it, it was great. But people were starting to contact me now from Australia, from America, all over. And I had a thought, hmm, 
I'm loving this, but I am sharing our personal story. So I think I just better check in with my husband. So he was sitting in our sunroom and I went to him and I said, <clears throat> sweetheart, there's a thing happening here and I um, just wanted to like check in now. He's heard this before, let me assure you. He's heard this before. And he said, okay, babe, so tell me what the plan is here. And I said, well, I'm loving this, but I am sharing our personal information. So I just want to check in with you. Now, in case you didn't realize, I am an extrovert. And the next words he said are not the best words that extroverts want to hear. He said, let me think about it. Well, I thought this could be three days, this could be three weeks. I didn't know what the answer was going to be. So he went to his man cave. All men should have a man cave. He went to his man cave and I went about cleaning the house from top to bottom. Thankfully, it only took him about 20 minutes and he came back and he said, sweetheart, tell the people everything they need to know. It's a mess. Suicide rate, divorce rate, mental health, it's a mess. Tell the people everything they need to know. I will be forever proud of him for that day. Brene Brown teaches us true vulnerability is to be brave. That is true vulnerability is bravery. To be really brave, we have to step right in. We have to step right in to the uncertainty, to the change. We have to step right in. In 2016, the World Health Organization released a paper saying that um, the lack of quality relationships is killing us quicker than the lack of exercise and obesity. The lack of quality relationships is killing us. So why are we not talking about this? Why is this not a real thing? Why are we not educating ourselves on this? It is a mystery to me, a mystery. Anyway, I had my husband's, we, we had a plan now, and my husband was 100% behind me, or as he likes to say, 157% behind me. Don't know where that came from. Um, and that was me, I was off. Talking to all the people about all the things, sex, intimacy, relationships, conflict, all the things, anything. Talking to people in Australia and America, doing all the things, loving my whole life, loving my whole life. So my challenge to you today is, my challenge is, can you get past the shame and guilt of talking about all the things? Can you get past the shame and guilt and the pre-programming and the limiting beliefs and start talking about all the things and actually start living the relationship and the life of your dreams. My name is Lisa McFarland and that is my TED Talk. Thank you.